Hey everybody, this is Brent here for the Alchemist Trinity, and I'm here playing Fallout 4. But I'm actually doing a special challenge. I have downloaded a mod called the Eisenwolf Legacy. It's basically a mod that was made by my fan, Yorut. I think that's his pronounced name, but... Anyways, I devised the challenge that I'm going to head and complete this quest that he made that it's made for players over level 20... And I'm going to go there at level 1, wearing nothing but my, uh, this Morgan spacesuit, because I just want to have rad resistance to, uh, when I go swimming in water or anything. And that's it. I ain't going to have anything else but my pistol, my suit, and my overall knowledge of the map. As you can see, I have not used any console commands. To give myself an unfair advantage. And it's on set on very hard difficulty. So you might see some cuts and edits. Because that's when I either die or get killed. Or I end up messing up. But thing is this is what's going on right now. My character is like a really poorly set character. He has 10 endurance and 10 perception. And 5 strength. The extra strength point coming from the uh, special book. So, yeah, I'm built like a tank, but I ain't getting away very fast, so... Let's get this done. Now, I'm doing this merely as a favor for uh, Yorut, because... A lot of people complained of not being able to complete the quest, or completing the quest to get a reward... But I'm going to prove right now just how simple it is to complete even at a low level. I originally completed it at level 6. I had a little problem with the mod because I downloaded it from Nexus. And I was having problems because I had to rework the UI. And I wasn't very good at that. And I didn't want to ruin my game. So I instead downloaded it from the Bethesda mod set. Now, the way I'm doing this is I'm avoiding all confrontations. I am not going to bother with fighting, so if I have to fight, I'll fight, but most of the time I'm going to avoid as many enemies as I can. Now, as most would tell me, I could just give myself 10 agility and I don't have to worry about that, but no. I want to prove to myself and to others that it's easy to do. I just gotta take a Weighing my chances with either the bloat flies or the ghouls. Oh boy. Now, those MREs are not going to be used because they're part of another mod. But. I'll have to use them if I absolutely have to. But other than that, I'm not going to bother. Whew, that was a close one. Thing is, I rather take my chances with the bloat flies than I do with the feral ghouls, because the feral ghouls can easily catch up to you and literally take chunks of your health away. So, pick your poison is really the name of the game. Now, this could be a death trap for me if I wake up any ghouls. So I'm just going to cut in the middle of this, uh, the Sunshine Tidings core up. Grab myself another stim pack along with it. Now, the first place that we have to go to is the Lonely Chapel. Now, that's a raider hut. If I go anywhere near that place, the raiders are going to spawn and they can instantly one-shot me. And that is a group of super mutants, most likely, and I don't want to go near that either. Now, the first hazard that I'm going to have to deal with is a Yaogwai. But, 
I'm hoping if my luck is pretty good, which is not, it's one luck, I can easily sneak in, grab the book without the Yao Guai really knowing I'm there. I may level up, but I am not going to put any points. So this might be a level 1 or 2 run, but that's besides the point. Now, I got a choice to take this Ranger Mask and Helmet from another mod from the uh, NCR Veteran Armor mod, but I'm not going to because that would be cheating because I could easily just tank any damage I get. Now, I'm going to wait for this bear. Uh-oh. Where's... that bear in there? Yeah, it is. Okay. This could be haste. This could be bad. Hmm. Okay. I has a plan. I am going to wait an hour in the chapel because I don't want to die immediately. That's not in my initial plan. All right. With that hour waited, let's see if the If I play this smart, I could kill the bear. Oh, he already did kill it. Well, shit. Oh, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Move it! If I have to, I will use fucking chems to get out of this. Oh my god. I'm sorry for if I'm swearing too much, but trust me, this is... Bit of suicide. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Oh, so sorry about that. Okay, now there's another Yao Guai in the ru in the way, but I can easily avoid that bear. The shame that elk uh, wasted before I could use it efficiently, but what can you do? Now, my hope is that Okay, that's another Yao Guai. I'm just going to make another quick save. We'll just keep far away from the Yao Guai. He can mind his own business, I'll mind my own. My only hope is that this game won't crash. If it does, I'm just going to cut it out. Now, I got to be careful up here because there are hostile uh, rad stags that will actually attack you if you get too close. So, I don't want to get too close to uh, Fiddler's Green, this uh, trailer park, because if you do, the ghouls there... 
Oh. It's either feral ghouls or freaking super mutants to pick my poison. All right. Now, when you're close to this town, I notice you lose your ability to sprint. So, I'm going to stay far into the outskirts of the town. So, that way I don't want to attract any unwanted attention. I will say this, but once I get the treasure map and well the, not the treasure map but once i get the the get the eisen thing i will let's see all right so yeah basically i'm just doing up to the point where i get the manual and the one other manual i ain't going to try and get the uh resources by show you what you need to get so I hope he'll be okay with that but yeah look at that level two and I've already made it to the uh, maintenance thing but I ain't gonna give myself any perks because I think that'll be against the challenge but if you look up here the Eisenwolf Almanac now we gotta find a way to decrypt the book, which is in the police station near, I think, Natick, Natick Banks. My bad. Have a little bleh, bleh moment. We're gonna quick save just one more time. Oh, both. Bad doggy. Oh, I can handle dogs. Come on. Okay. I'm probably going to have to take out the other dog, too. I don't really want to level up. But I don't exactly want to die, either. Oh, can I do this? Actually, I got a better idea. I'm going to take a little rad damage, but... Let's take a little bit of rad X, just in case. And there we go. One little short swim later. If you want, if you wanted to do a low-level run to get to here, you could have just put yourself in, uh, give yourself the uh, ability to uh, negate radiation damage. But there's the uh, manual there in the Natex Police Department. Now I'm going to fast travel back because I won't survive the trip returning waves. But yeah. That's how easy it is to complete this quest. Now, 
originally you have to go to complete complete the quest, you're going to have to collect a few certain items to make the scanner. And once you complete, and which to me at this moment is nearly impossible because I don't have any of the stuff to make it. But to you, it's relatively easy because. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I gotta see if I can nail this. I'm actually very curious. Oh, come on. Give it one more shot there, champ. Oh, okay. But, anyways, let's use this real quick. Now, in your special tabs, you'll be able to make the text scanner, which is necessary to complete the quest. And if you're like me and you just, like, gather up everything from everywhere, it's not hard to get enough aluminum, military grit, aluminum, copper, rubber, and all that. But you need two items to make this uh, scanner, which is the camera and the milita military grade uh, circuit board, which can be found in military s installations. Relatively easy. Yeah, sorry about that. But other than that, yeah, the quest is r relatively easy to do, especially if you're a high enough level. And f I have yet to test the mod out completely, but. I will make a follow-up video showing off what you can earn for once you make the uh, the Eisenwolf bench, which requires two science and two gun nut. And I'll make a follow-up video then when I explore more of that. So I hope you guys had a good time with this, because I sure as did. And look at that. Just level two. Level 1 and 2 run. And apparently that was so hard. So hard. But anyways, love you guys. See you next time.